battery technology was kind of founded just by a freak accident. The first battery, the way that we imagine a battery to be, mm -hmm. the, the typical modern battery, it kind of didn't come about until we got to Galvani. Now Galvani, he completely did this purely again by accident. He was dissecting a frog. It was a dead frog, obviously. Mm -hmm. And he was dissecting the frog. The plate on which he was dissected on was a copper plate. He was using kind of like an iron or stainless steel type of knife. Mm -hmm. And obviously the frog was kind of wet. It, you know, it had embalming fluid on it. And as he's cutting this, obviously the, the blade, the iron blade of the knife touched the copper plate of the dissecting table mm -hmm. and the frog leg just kind of twitch. And he was like, what the hell was that? Obviously he didn't understand the premise of, you know, redox reactions and, and you know, electricity uh, due to redox processes or anything like that. So he kind of thought like, oh, did the frog have some kind of its own electrical energy that got, mm -hmm. you know, released? Yeah, somehow. released somehow. And then he kind of just really left it alone, to be honest. Hmm. And then Volta, Volta came into the picture. That's why it's called the voltaic cell nowadays, hmm. thanks to Volta. Uh, Volta came in and actually created a prototype. He was like, hmm. yeah, I don't know. I don't buy this vibe where it's like, oh, that the animal itself had some kind of electrical energy that it imparted. I don't buy it. I think mm -hmm. it's the difference in electrical potential between the two different metals that came into contact. Mm. So he created the first kind of prototype battery, essentially, right? Mm -hmm. He stacked copper and zinc plates on top of each other, had like a vinegar solution that he poured in, <clears throat> took two copper wires and connected the two different plates ends, and then he discovered, oh, an electrical current was created.